It's that time. Welcome to another episode of Little Talks, your weekly dose of marketing news and insights from Littlefield Agency. All right, welcome back, Rooks. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for thank you for the massive Fourth of July holiday we just had. Friday, Sat, half Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Apparently today. Today is Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, ladies. Oh, wait. Look at that. Over there. Where is everyone? Hi, Jules. Yeah, just nice Jules. Jules to show this morning. No, they're here. They're all in. Uh, artist worker at Little <laughs> worker at Little Damn Club. right. That's right. Uh, yeah, the account team behind us, if you're watching, yeah, looks empty compared to last week, but that's because they're in their weekly departmental meeting on the other side. Are they, though? Because Julie's in that department. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Where? They're not. They're not? Jules, what are they doing? I think they're in a Ditchwich meeting. Oh, uh, Ditchwich hey, meeting. Hey, shout out to Ditchwich. It's going to be something important. Great. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, because usually they're all through this. I'll say, Julie, that's not a good sign. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, the math isn't adding up. Sorry, Julie. Hey, how's your 4th of July? It was really good. Good long weekend, like you said. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the 4th and the fireworks, like I was telling you before we went on, I'm kind of like ready for new technology to come in and, and revitalize that whole industry. And it sounds like that's on the way. Uh, some cities, including Boulder, Colorado, where my sister-in-law lives, uh, drone shows. is doing drone shows. So I, it's got to be coming pretty soon. See, I'm, then, then I'm, a, can, I'm a traditionalist. I just yeah. love some good old fireworks. It's going to work baby. out for you, though. So what will happen is the drones will take over for a while, and then we'll get nostalgic for fireworks. <laughs> and then you'll have a fireworks show again. It may be cool to do a quick drone show and then just do our normal fireworks. I love fireworks. Can we do both? Can so, you? Can yes. the drones avoid the fireworks? I don't know. So you can go above them. Well, those helicopters fly right through it. Yeah, they fly right through it. They're over it. Um, No, that was an interesting read in the hustle this morning and very timely. You had a pretty nice view, though, from your front porch last night. Yeah. uh, So we we live, um, yeah, literally, we walk out. If there was a tree across the street that would just die. Well, it had the chance a couple of weeks ago. It's had the chance multiple times. I live in this house 20 years. (laughs) That's a strong tree. Every time it happens, I'm like, I'm worried about my tree and and praying for that tree to, to, to end it. And um, if it weren't for that tree, I could literally sit on my porch and, you know, have a drink and, and watch the fireworks. But um, because of the tree, we have to actually walk about 20 steps to the corner. Oh, so. I'm so sorry. I am so <laughs> but, sorry. But yeah, it's a perfect view of, uh, I don't even think they call it, do they call it Boom River still? <laughs> or is it just the river fire? I just, yeah. I just always call it the river. The river fireworks. Uh, yeah, it's great. Sometimes we'll walk to the gathering place and watch from there if we want to be around That's people. Cool. Yeah. Last night was real low key. Well, and the thing is, someone brought it up this morning. All the you know, we just experienced this crazy storm a couple of weeks ago, and there's still piles of brush everywhere. Yes, and I didn't even think about that until Tara brought it up this weekend. She's like, "Man, that could be bad if firework land." Yeah, home. yeah. Even when there's not piles heard of brush, of that's always it, a possibility. possibility. But yeah, I, so we finished the fireworks, went back in the house, and then um, the neighbors with the tree, ironically came out we're shooting roman candles around and I, I thought man there's a lot of dead brush piled up in the sidewalks around here that could go south real quick yeah I, I didn't but i haven't heard of anything i didn't hear anything either so I, that, I tuned into the news this morning that too. was good for us well good well i'm glad it was a good fourth yeah it is um it's wednesday july 5th i told tara okay now the fourth of july we're going to blink next week is the middle of july school's going to start and then it's christmas yeah not to rush time or anything no but this is crazy agreed so i feel like summer break for kids and for adult minded kids is that <laughs> i've gotten i've gotten shorter and shorter like uh is that was, just how it happens when you get i don't know i don't know I, like jack i feel like just graduated and then in next month or so he's back in school and i'm like that wasn't even a full two and a half three months maybe yeah it's wild yeah i don't get it either well hey this week we know we have a lot of clients on vacation um it's it's a just quick week so we're going to limit it to one digital trend today I want to point out we had two. I was prepared for two. He had two. In the second one, I, I or excuse me, the first original first one. Yeah. We'll probably go to next week. We'll just I think bump it's it. Interesting. Um, and it's a good topic to cover. But yeah. let's focus on one and give our listeners just a nice, you know, 10 minute ish podcast this week. Just a nice. That sounds good. Just something nice. I think it's good. Yeah. Commuting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Doing your thing. But um, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're glad to be here. And uh, Rube, take it away with our one, one topic digital right. trend today. Let me set my coffee cup down. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> To reach over there. I don't have a table like you do. I offered a table. I know. Brandon, I, I th- reject. Thank you I for this table, away. buddy. It actually is really nice. Yeah, Brandon's really, every week he's kicking it up. One last thing. I got more compliments last week on this setup over here. I know, right? I think this is it, Brandon. Forget the podcast studio. This is it, buddy. What did Chelsea think of it? Because now she's featured in it. Did she say anything? <laughs> no. Did she, she schedule this me- meeting? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, is Chelsea here? She's coming in the afternoon. 
Must be nice. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and for those that didn't hear that, she's coming in in the afternoon. Lovely. Must be. All right, take it away, Rube. Okay, Brandon, insert topic one music here. And only topic. And only topic one. Um, so Meta, a.k.a. Facebook, we all still call it, it's, it's Meta, but we're calling it Facebook. I still you know, call it Facebook. And what's Google's real name? They're owned by Alphabet. That's true. But we don't, we call it Google still. The Google. Uh, the Google. <laughs> Meta, a.k.a. Facebook, uh, has targeted a mid-July launch for, and I, I want to point out, I wrote this script before the break. So there's a big update at the end of this one. And it could be as soon as like, <laughs> okay, don't real soon. It. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Meta has targeted mid-July launch for a new Twitter challenger app. Um, Musk claims that Twitter usage is increasing. We're going to talk a little bit about something that happened over the weekend too. Um, but as soon as he took over, and for a while, a lot of platforms have been trying to figure out where, what can we build to pick up the people that want to leave? We're kind of done with the changes of Twitter. There was Mastodon for a while. Um, uh, Jack Dorsey has Blue Sky, uh, Blue Sky. Yep. which I'm still on the waiting list for. I, I don't understand. But apparently Meta, a.k.a. Facebook again, has been working on this for a while, and they're ready to, to roll it out. Um and if there's ever going to be a platform to take on Twitter, it's going to be someone that already has big, big numbers, big I think. Voice. Right. Mm -hmm. So they can leverage Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and their other platforms against this. Yeah. So this is meta. They're getting in. Um, we mentioned this, I think, uh, on a couple of podcasts. If when this launches, which drum roll, please, um, you're going to want to go grab your, uh, your, handle. your handle. That is very true. We yeah. talked about this before. So you're probably on it's your BNB brand. Yeah. It, you're probably on vacation this week, but uh, if you get a chance, you're probably going to want to do this tomorrow because uh, it sounds like Facebook is rolling this out today or tomorrow. I believe it's tomorrow, which will be July 6th. Be July 6th? Yeah. And I mean, that's uh, that's a great point on the on the handle part. My question is, per what happened this week in Roop in the world of Twitter? Yeah. So There were some people that were really pissed. It doesn't make sense. So what happened was Friday, I think it was Friday, late Friday night, um, I started seeing people posting their their blue sky handles follow me there which is not uncommon this happens a lot yeah something will happen on twitter people get mad but um i guess elon musk took the novel approach of of limiting views on a social platform and so what he he rolled out is unless you're a subscribed member really trying to blow through those subscriptions yeah. blue check marks blue check marks you're limited to 600 tweet views per day if you have you blue imagine scrolling <laughs> Right. How, how many tweet views do you see in one scroll? Well, people were trying to figure that out. And um, one guy said he burned through his 600 in about 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I'll be honest. I never burn through mine, but I'm also not a power user. I'm just kind of, you know, checking to see what weather. I bet Rocco would. He Probably, he yeah. We through. should ask him about it. Um, but if you're paid, you get more than 600. You get, I think, 3,000. <laughs> so what? So you're still limited. You're still you're limited. Paid. Like, there's no no logic to this people immediately even people that like musk and, and like what he's done thus far on twitter are like this is crazy what's wrong with you the first thing i thought of was you're already in advertising trouble and now you're telling advertisers we're going to have yeah, hey brands people on the platform what not more so um yeah that was crazy that was a whole thing i don't understand the logic behind it i'm i am a little confused I, i've read a few different things that uh well, well one he got rid of a lot of engineers and a lot of people that made twitter work uh it's true pretty efficiently that's true i've also read he's he kind of stopped paying a few bills on some servers so he's m probably down some computing power i think he finally paid a rent. i think he did yeah i think he might yeah rent he finally paid yeah. this is the richest man in the world not paying bills it's kind of bizarre um and he used to be a big musk guy back oh, in the day I, I gave it about eight months yeah yeah <laughs> root, root, that's much benefit either. of the doubt but now i think he's a crazy person and stuff like this just kind of cements that um but the the timing couldn't be better for facebook Dude, and hop it, on it, baby. Hop on it. And the original note I had said mid-July, and it makes me wonder if, because I read this thing, it was in the hustle today. Yeah, I read it. That too. it's going to roll out tomorrow. I wonder if they didn't move that up a little bit based on the opportunity that's happening with people really, really leaving Twitter at this point. I don't think some some people in the meta world had a long weekend like we did. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. I think they were, uh, they were focused on that. Do we have an app name? Um, I've heard, we know it's an app by the way. Yeah, I've heard rumors of a couple of different ones and I can't remember any of them right now. So no, I, I don't know that we, so don't. this will be a separate app. Think about it. Facebook, you know, meta owns yeah. Instagram. Instagram has its own app, Facebook separately. So we, tomorrow will be the day. Does it roll out today? Probably not. Maybe, maybe late, maybe tonight. late tonight. Uh, th this podcast will go live probably middle of the afternoon, late afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so, so you, we'll you, we'll have a lot to talk it, about. It next could week. actually be live when you're when you're hearing this. Wait, we're right, we're right on the cutting edge of, well, th- of this all is, of it. This is true. I mean, this is this is exactly why we do this podcast. This is what I love about this. Yeah, it's a fun one. It's, it's very timely. But get that B two B handle. Yeah, grab. You don't know where this is going to take off. Grab your personal right. handle. Grab your business handle. If your social media person is on vacation, handle it. Give us a call. Yeah, Gra- grab grab what you need to. And Ru- we don't. Roof loves setting that stuff up. I was about to say, we don't really know the process yet for creating an account. <laughs> um, it could be easy. It could be difficult. But um, you're going to want to go through it either way. That is your one digital trend this week. Yeah. We'll be back into the normalcy. Wow, we have a five-day work week next week. Oof. I don't know if I can handle that. It's been a while. <laughs> it really has been a <laughs> while. Yeah, I know, right? I think I had we vacation, had a couple. We had a day off. Yeah, the vacation. Yeah. We were talking about this, the whole like, you know, the vacations and the holidays, and it's just next next year, the fourth is on a Wednesday, and Rupe and I were having a conversation, so is it just Wednesday off? We don't know. Yeah. And, well, the so I, many people take, I mean, I've gotten so many out-of-office replies in the last couple of days of just, hey, I'll catch you the week of July 10th. Fair enough. Yeah, the people are off this week. The the, the original, I think, intent was we ha- we did have today off at Littlefield, and then we moved it to Monday. Because we felt like people... Most of our clients were off off on Monday. Monday. It's a weird deal. Next year is going to be weird, too. Yeah. I will say, um, I enjoyed... I I would not have wanted to come in Monday and then go off in the back. But I wouldn't have been mad about being off today, either. (laughs) There you go. See? I I, I was waiting for it. And here's the thing. As we wrap this podcast, I will not be surprised when you petition next year, hey, Sam, you know, I know we talked about one day Maybe that Thursday, Friday off too. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what you could call it? Christmas in July and just give us the whole week. <laughs> All right. Can we get off this? Sam Littlefield. <laughs> Sam Littlefield. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. We hope it was a great fourth, a safe fourth, and uh, we'll see you the week of the 10th. Thank see you. Be back in the office next week. And hopefully Rube's here. Bye. Bye. Right. Adios. <laughs> And that's a wrap. We hope you've enjoyed our little chat and found ways to grow your own marketing strategies. Remember to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and follow us on social media at Middlefield Agency.